Hello, welcome to this mini debrief episode for my playthrough of Mystery House. Um, we're going to go through any little bits of the game um, that I missed during my streams um, that I can add in now, and also uh, just finish up with a few final final thoughts on the game. Um, so let's start again from the beginning. Now we kind of know what we're doing. Um, I'm going to show you an alternative um, way to get to the conclusion. Um, it turns out that what we did um, is probably not the... Just open this kitchen door. Um, not the most conventional way of getting to the end of the game. Um, in one respect, anyway. So we're in the kitchen, so I think we're still on a, a darkness time, aren't we? So we need to um, open the cupboard. Um, and I think that's where the matches are. Yes. Matches. And um, let's look back at the room. So make sure I get the matches and the candles so we don't have to worry about uh, darkness for the time being. Um, uh, yep, yeah, so I also need to get this butter knife, that's pretty, turns out, it's pretty important. So back in the room, I think that's all we technically need from here, just to show what I want to show. And do we go... East to the... Yeah, here's the entryway. So, I think we go east to go to... Oh. And then east... I think to the... Dining room. How do I get to the dining room? Uh, you'll notice I haven't got my, uh, my map open. I have to perhaps do that. Um, oh, that's outside. No, okay. Um... Well, I can go actually go south. There's poor Sam. Open the door. Apologies oh, if you just heard a motorbike roll by. Oh, that's not. Oh, let's go. Go doors. Right. Go door. Aha. Uh, yeah. Candle. Okay. Right. Candle. Great, so I just don't have to worry about the dark. So now, where do we need to go? We need to go upstairs, don't we? So, can I go west? Oh. Oh, if you move anywhere with the lit candle. Oh, heck. I didn't get the picture. I haven't got the picture. Well, that adds a wrinkle, doesn't it? Um. Oh, the. <laughs> Well, there you go, there's an extra death that we didn't see before. If you can't put the fire out immediately, uh, you die. You die. Okay, alright. Uh, alright, I'll contend with that. Um, in, a, in a sec. Um, I think the rest of what we did was good. Right, so open cupboard. That is, that's not covered. Open, uh, look covered. Uh, get matches. Uh, look room. Can I just say fridge? Is fridge good? Okay, yeah, I can. That'll save a bit of typing time. Open fridge. Look fridge. Get yeah, jug. Oh, it's a picture. Isn't a picture worth a thousand jugs, though? Great. Great. Whoa! Text record. Um, get... Get that butter knife. Great, so... Uh, we have to water on, don't we? Great. Get water. Fantastic. And then 
Right, we should definitely be equipped now to go. Was it west we went? It wasn't. Okay. It's east. It's east. And then, so do I need to go west to get to the... No. Oh, they've gone already, okay. Um, I'm going to say light candle, because I don't think... Uh, okay. Interesting. Uh, which way did I just go? West. No? Oh. I keep going the wrong way. Open door. East. South. Open door. Go door. Get candle. Light candle. And then go east. Okay, we've got our fire again. Um, how did we, did we pour water? Is that how we resolved it? Yeah, nice. She was empty. No worries. Text uh, log again. Um, can I go west again? That direction. East. South. No. Uh, code door. So do I want to go north? Is that the direction I want to go? Yep. So we're going upstairs, folks. We got there. So what room do I need to go to? I need to go north. Uh, past the stairs. Um, I think I need to go. No, go door. Sorry. To go into th this is the one. So you remember the picture? So it was in my hypotheses that we had to do something with the picture. And having completed the game without doing anything to it, I concluded that it was probably a red herring. Well, turns out not a red herring. Actually, we were kind of on the right track. But to undo the bolts to secure it to the wall, apparently the only command that will work is use butter knife. So, I mean, this is the only place in the game where you use the command use in a, like a non-specific um, context. Which is, I mean, it becomes the staple for Sierra um, text parser adventure games that you just, um, when you get to a situation where you'd manipulate something with an item, you just type use the item and it would take the context for you. But this game has required a contextual verb uh, for everything else. So that didn't come to mind this time. But if we use butter knife, the picture is loose. So we can take the picture. There's a button on the wall. <gasps> Do I have the picture in my inventory? I'm curious. Matches. An empty picture. A butter knife. A lit candle. A picture. There you go. I've got I've got a picture and a picture. Um, press button. Part of the wall opens. So, whoa. I mean, it's a serious, a serious part of the wall opens. Okay. Um, <laughs> Uh, they weren't joking. Um, so this is a secret passage. Go wall. Oh, oh, interesting. Ooh, nice. So I don't know how you get out. Interesting. Um, but this is a different way to get to, like the final clue. Yeah. Well, I guess um, you can get out by going through the. Um, what's the word? Uh, going through the hole and going through the navigating the forest, which is a bit of a nightmare. But you can get back to the house that way because you've got the. Um, you can get to the kitchen. Um, and then you've also got the front door key. So that's another way of getting to this part of the scenario. 
Um, whereas before, just by being obsessed with trying to push everything because I knew it was a verb we could use, I pushed the cabinet and um, we'd got through, we'd broken through the wall into this area. So I think the other one is like a more sustainable solution, but an entirely less obvious one because there's no um, hints. I mean, there's not really many hints in this part, is there really? But I mean, there's conventions that this is relying on. So I guess that's kind of a good segue to talk about what Mystery House is doing. In that, it doesn't really make a lot of sense in terms of what's happening. You do have to kind of, you just have to be familiar with lots of conventions. So I think it helps a lot that I've played adventure games in the past and text-based ones as well. Um, so that I'm familiar with the conventions of those. And just to try uh, pick up everything and try every combination you can think of. And also like the conventions of mystery stories, like a um, a manor house murder mystery type type deal, which this is. Um, so it kind of throws in elements of those, but I think the like the major failing of this and and many adventure games really is that it's kind of come up with a set solution for everything, which I mean it makes sense to the designer because it's it's in their minds. Um, but how you arrive at that might not be an organic process as a player. Because I, unless the game had specifically told me that uh, killing, the kill instruction, which we never actually, which was never actually functional, um, was part of the game in the instructions. If they hadn't told me that, I wouldn't have sought that solution for anything. Um, it's not... Uh, yeah, it's not something I would seek out in an adventure game, to be honest. But that was the one and only way to deal with the uh, the killer in the house. You can't you can't contact anybody else for help. You can't trap them. You can't um, find any other solution than that. Um, so that's yeah, that's an interesting interesting. Thing. So it's a it's a weird perspective to play a game from in that you're you're puzzling out not just uh, the solution to a series of clues, you're also puzzling out uh, uh, an obscure intent in some places. So it kind of, it's not necessarily good design, but it's still quite compelling. I think that's, um, I think it's less so in point and click adventure games, uh, as, I, as I think I mentioned before on one of the streams, because um, you, no, there's a solution out there, and all you can do is just click everything on everything else. Um, you just rub items on, on things until something happens, um, because you know that will eventually work, and you can you can brute force a solution. But you can't necessarily do that with um, a text-based adventure game. So it kind of it kind of makes it more involving in that you have to conceptualise what you need to do. Um, and, and work out a way to express it, um, which is, is for me anyway, is, is quite a compelling um, way into a game. And it's certainly something that I think about uh, in between playing the game as well. So part of my brain is working away at how do I get past this obstacle? Um, what have I got? What, how can I contextualize what's happening? Um, and usually an idea will pop in. Uh, it won't necessarily be a successful idea, but I'll, I'll play again and, and try it, and it just won't recognise what I'm trying to do. But what I have thought of was quite a satisfying solution in my own mind. So there's, there's that kind of satisfaction that you can get from a game like this. I mean, I certainly had a, a lot of fun playing it. Um, and, yeah, and streaming it as well kind of focuses the mind in a, in a different way. So you have to kind of keep keep at it whereas um, the, I think there's more of a temptation in leisure time to play a little bit and then if it gets frustrating um, just quit out and never come back I don't think I would I think I would have persisted with this game so I think there there were enough options for me to try to keep it uh, keep it going so I think I would have enjoyed playing this one on or off stream but it was um, it was a pleasure to stream it and um, we're looking at hopefully doing some more similar uh, adventure games on stream soon 
So if you're able to uh, join me for that, this, that would be that'd be wonderful. I'd, I'd appreciate your help at all times, uh, I'm sure. Um, thanks very much for watching this debrief episode. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the, the whole series of uh, Mystery House streams and videos. Um, and hope to see you again soon for something new. Until then, take care. I'm going to point you to Lee Alexander's lo-fi let's play of Mystery House now. It's um, got some really interesting things to say and puts the game in some historical context for you. Um, and I highly recommend uh, all Lee Alexander's lo-fi let's plays, which cover a variety of games similar to this um, from, a, from a similar era. Check them out and hope you enjoy.